Good morning, happy New Year's. Hopefully your New Year's was great. Hopefully your holidays were great. Mine were, um, mine was unexpectedly eventful thanks to some flooding issues in my basement, but overall, no real complaints. So uh, let's talk about my Christmas Bronco haul, shall we? So admittedly, my holiday shopping was, was cut short a little bit this year. Um, just prior to Thanksgiving, I found out from the, my employer that we are getting bought out. So, mm-hmm, yep, that's exciting. So as usual, when this sort of stuff happens, they gathered us all in a room and said, don't worry, your jobs are safe. You will be receiving offers from the new owners very, very soon. Mm-hmm, I'm sure that's exactly how that's gonna work. So, you know, um, I took it a little conservatively this year, but I did get some good stuff. Let me show you. The first item was never supposed to be part of Christmas. This is from Archetype Racing. I ordered this, oh gosh, back in May, I think? I'm not quite sure. Uh, here, look at look at the focus so you don't see my my details. May 1st, 2023. I ordered this May 1st, and it arrived mid-December. That is insanity. But this, I need two hands for this. This is a device rail. I don't remember exactly what this is called. They have some some goofy name for it. MKBD, MK2BYODR, I don't whatever. It's a device rail. It's meant to go on your dash. This is packaged really well. I won't give them that much. This is meant to go on your dash, and then you can attach devices for it. And I thought I would get it for uh, GoPros and whatnot. Phones, radios, whatever. Stuff yet to be determined. I personally got the Badlands orange one because, well, I got a Badlands. And, uh, oh, see, it's very... The one thing about this company, Archetype Racing, they build really really quality products they take freaking forever to ship them so if you order from them uh just expect it not to arrive anytime in the near future but when they do eventually deliver it's it's very very high quality stuff so where's the um hardware pack now i read online that they accidentally sent out the wrong hardware to a few of the early orders what the frick is this used for I don't even know. It looks like I got the right hardware, which is good. Happy. Let's put this puppy together. Uh, do I have the right size? Probably not. Probably have to go down. Oh, winning, winning. This is a four millimeter hex. Cool, 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 cool. Solid stuff so far. Done. Dude, not bad. This thing's awesome. I have no, I have no idea what this is used for. I'm guessing this was a, oopsie, you got a free screw. So cool, I guess. I don't, yeah, I have no idea what it's used for. This, supposedly this washer isn't necessary most of the time. It's only needed if your Bronco is just slightly out of spec because, you know, let's be honest, the tolerances on the Bronco are not very tight. So I'm gonna guess I don't need this, but the rail itself is great. There's also, obviously it only attaches in the middle on the Bronco on the, on the quarter 20 mount, but there are 3M strips, so it sticks to the side of the dash. So let's go, let's go get this installed. Just to make sure that I am correct about not needing that washer, so let's pop this in. Oh, the windshield's in the way. All right, I'll do it by hand. Cool. So it's wiggling back and forth, but that's because I don't have I don't have the 3M tape applied yet. Let's check the other side. The other side is also good. Cool. Let's put it in permanently. Pop this off. Do the same on the other side. Come on, 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 come on. Stick it in. One side's down. Now, I need some help with this because I don't have any any mounting accessories for it yet. So if you know of any mounting, I thought this was going to be similar to Molly and I could just look online and find all kinds of accessories for it because this is a standard mounting system that firearms use, right? So I thought it was going to be easy, but it's harder than I anticipated to find stuff. So 
if anybody out there knows of a good way to mount uh, say a GoPro if there's like a GoPro adapter or cell phone mount or whatever oh that's right I can't use that so if anybody finds anything put it down below and I'll buy it now if you frequent the Bronco forums you'll know there's a company called Mabet it's a Chinese company I believe they released a USB charging hub for the dash and I, one of the questions I, I commonly saw is can you use that with one of the device rails and you know what I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. If you got, if you got a US, like right angle adapters, maybe it would work. But uh, without those right angle adapters, that's, it's not happening. All right, next item. So I got a kinetic rope recovery kit from Yankum Rope. This should require no introduction. Wow, hi, son. Should require no introduction to a lot of you. They are pretty well known in the off-road space. USA made product out of Idaho. A lot of people use them, even a lot of YouTubers use them. So Matt's Off-Road Recovery, Casey Liddell, Millennial Farmer, both in the off-road space as well as in the farming and heavy equipment space. They all use these ropes. I, I am brand new to connect ropes. I've never used them. I've always been a metal chain, static toe strap sort of guy. So this is, this is new to me, but we got a kinetic rope. Rated for the Bronco, two soft shackles, which I've I've never used before as well, two hard shackles, which I'm extremely familiar with, as well as a two-inch receiver adapter. So I'm excited to use this. Um, we'll have to see. I'm um, hopefully this in combination with the winch I got will be enough for 90% of my recovery needs, but uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, next item. I got me a set of more flate hoses. This was part of a group buy on the Ford Bronco subreddit where there was 30% off all of everything Morflate. It's a better deal than what they had for Black Friday, so it was pretty awesome. There was also an AMA associated with it, also known as a, a Q&A. AMA is the Reddit speak, but there was a Q&A associated with it. I'll link it down below if you want to read it. And here we go. All right, let's lay these out. So this comes in two varieties. I got the one, let's see if I can do this, Whoa. nice, oh there's a door in the way, so this one would go here, this one obviously goes back to the back one, and same thing on the other side. So this comes in two varieties, one is the manifold with the hoses permanently attached to the manifold. Well, not permanently, but threaded directly into the manifold. I got the kit where the hoses are easily disconnected from the manifold. I will link all this stuff down below, by the way. And I just wanted that flexibility. So that's why I got that. It does come with a digital gauge. I'm not crazy about the digital gauge, to be perfectly honest with you. I wanted an analog gauge. I actually asked him why he didn't put analog gauges. Like, why would I want to worry about a battery? I don't... I don't even want to worry about this battery ever going bad. Um, and he had a good reason for it, but you know, still, I would still prefer analog. So someday in the future, I will be swapping this out with an analog gauge, um, but not bad at all. This end here obviously plugs into your air compressor. The air compressor was on my wish list, but that was one of the things I, I sacrificed in my attempt to be cautious about my spending. Morflate does sell air compressors on their website. They're pretty good air compressors. I think it's called the 10.6. They just came out with the second generation one. I'm, I'm actually leaning against the air compressors. I think I wanna go with one that mounts on the Bronco itself. Most of them, most of them are the ARB twin air compressors and they mount under the hood right here. There's two or three of them that mount over the hood right here. It's one by 4x4 truck LEDs or KR Offroad, whatever they're called. Another one by Grim Off-Road, and then Ford Performance actually also sells a kit that mounts it right there. And then uh, American Adventure Labs sells one that mounts back here on the tailgate, which is really cool. I'm kind of interested in that one. The downside, obviously, is you would have to run the power cable all the way up front, and I don't know if I want to do that. So, we'll see. If you have an air compressor mount that you really like that you think I should look at, let me know. I'd be, I'd be curious. Like I said, I'm undecided. And next up, I got some winch some winch oh there it is I just where I put that I got some winch accessories so I got a cover for the winch and then I also got this guy 
Factor 55 Ultra Hook. Both of these items came from Ford Performance. Both of these items can be bought outside of Ford Performance if you wish. It's totally up to you. I had a bunch of Ford Pass points. The only real difference is you get this Ford logo. So if you buy it from Ford, you get the Ford logo. If you don't care about the logo, which I don't care, I just, again, I had a bunch of points sitting around. But if you don't care about the logo, you can buy them for significantly cheaper elsewhere. I will put links to both the Ford one and the non-Ford one down below, and you can shop however you want. I don't care. The cover itself I got for two reasons. This, by the way, is the, the Ford Performance winch. It's the same winch that's on the Everglades trim. It's also available standalone on Ford Performance if you want. I got it on my capable bumper. You can go watch a video on that if you want, but this is the Ford Performance winch. The cover I got for two reasons. One is because the winch itself was getting a lot of attention. So by covering it up, that hopefully will reduce the attention it gets. I'd, I mean, I don't mind talking to people, but like if I, it was getting a little tiresome to have a conversation about the winch every single time I was in the grocery store parking lot. So this is just to reduce interest. The second reason and the more important reason is because I live in the salt belt and you can see these chrome bolts here are already starting to get attacked. My focus back there is, is getting hammered by the salt. So I, like the worn winches are built really well, generally speaking, but I just wanted to keep as much of that salty, briny crud off the winch as possible. Um, it's a losing battle, honestly, but it'll help a little bit, so that's why I got it. The cover itself just attaches to the winch with these elastic straps. It's pretty easy to take on and off. They also provide this, this zipper here, so you can open this up and you have access to the port to plug in your controller, as well as to engage and disengage your winch itself. So, good stuff. The altar hook I got because um, I'm not a huge fan of this right here. Uh, you kind of have to do this to prevent this hook from clanging around as you're driving down the road. But I'm not, I don't, it's not, I'm not a fan. So, the altar hook will solve that. There's a bunch of features. There's lots of videos online you can watch about this. Uh, but the thing I was going after, other than just having its increased capabilities, is to uh, do that. Which probably doesn't make sense, but I'll, well, let me install it and then I'll show you. How does this guy, how do you install? Oh, there's a snap ring. Okay, um, do I have snap ring pliers that small? I don't know. I'll be back. We are in luck. I don't even, I don't even remember why I bought these, but uh, maybe like a kitchen sink cartridge, I don't know. But we're in luck. Let's see if we can do this. Oh yeah. Sweet. All right, let's go take the old hook off. Plug you in. All right, uh, let's do this correctly. Very good. And then I gotta get that lock out. The metal is cold and it doesn't wanna bend. Come on, my fingers are cold and they don't want to bend either. There we go. Cool. Out with the old and in with the new. This guy is going to try to get away from me. I, I just know it, I can feel it. So I'm going to keep track of you because you're going to try to, you're going to try to jump. All right. So it should go in like this. Um, 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 um. Of course. What the fuck? Well, obviously, this gap here is not wide enough to accept this metal rope protector thing that Warren has on the end of their winch. It's close. It's real close, but not quite there. So, you know, normally this wouldn't be that big of a deal, but the fact that all of these parts are sold on the Bronco section, on the Ford Performance website, and Ford didn't bother to make sure they all work together, that's the part, that's the part that gets me. But, um, well, this just became a uh, not today problem.
Yep, not today. Well, good morning. Yesterday's not today problem became today's today problem until such a time I determined that today, today's problem becomes not today, today's problem. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot. First, I'm gonna have to move some cars around. I don't even know if this focus is gonna start because the battery is bad on it, but we'll see. Ooh, barely, 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 barely. And now I shall navigate the treacherous ice fields provided by my sump pump that is still trying to empty out my basement to start the Bronco. It's cold today, by the way. It's uh, minus, I don't know, minus five Celsius. I don't know what that is in freedom units. I've had a few people ask me if my Bronco transmission has had uh, issues since getting the transmission replaced. If you watched my video in the past that I had to get my, my transmission replaced because it was grinding away. And I, I haven't had any issues, so A plus. All right, so here's the plan. First, I'm gonna make it nice and toasty because it's freaking cold today. And then I'm gonna whack it with a hammer. It's, it's a brilliant plan. I mean, it's, it's genius, right? If the square peg doesn't fit in the round hole, hit it with a hammer until it fits in the round hole, right? That's how this works. We'll see. So what I think actually happened in this case, and I should apologize to Ford. Oh, come on, you goober. Ugh. I think what actually happened is this, this, this is called a thimble, by the way. I think yesterday in my, my moment of extreme anger and disappointment, I called it something stupid. But this is a thimble. I think what actually happened is this thimble, this is a three inch, three eighths inch rope. I think this thimble, based on how much gap there is, I think this is actually a, a half inch thimble. So wasn't Ford's fault. I'm pretty sure Warren, Warren goofed here and not Ford. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll just give it a few love taps and hopefully it works. By the way, as you're doing this, make this rope, you will melt this rope with this heat gun. So if you're being stupid like me, don't, don't overheat it because you'll be sorry. By the way, I am ear plugging myself for this. So uh, headphone users plan accordingly. We're gonna hope we can just use this mallet. I'm guessing this won't work. Are we getting anywhere? I honestly don't think so. I will say, uh, this is not, this is, okay. So you should probably use like a vise or something to get these together or some sort of press. Guess what I don't have, a vise or a press. So that's why we're doing it this way. Metal hammer. Ooh, I think we're getting somewhere, guys. Yeah, we are. Okay. More hammer time. Oh, did I mention it was cold today? It's freaking cold today. Damn. I think we're good. I need to clean up that a little bit. Yup. And... Cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh ho 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 ho! Now we're talking. Just a just a disclaimer. That entire thing I just did. Me monkey use hammer to smack metal until metal fit in other metal. I'm not saying it's smart. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it. I'm just showing you what I did using the tools that I had to make this whole shindig work. In all honesty though, that actually worked out, that worked out pretty well. So if you are going to do what I did, I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier or not, but if you are going to do what I did, be careful with that heat gun because that heat gun can actually melt those synthetic fibers and the synthetic rope and it will compromise the rope. And then after that, your only option is to cut off the compromise section and re-splice it together. I guess if you, if you did end up compromising the rope, you could just buy a whole new rope, but, um, 
These ropes are expensive. It's like 300 to 400 bucks for a 100 foot section of rope. So yeah, splicing is definitely the way to go if you ever compromise a rope. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on splicing winch line together. If you want to see a tutorial on how to splice winch line together, let me know and I'll, I'll do that at some point. Pop this in, stick this through. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Put you back in. Cool. La done. Let's put this back in and then I'll show you guys what I was talking about. All right. There you go. Cool, 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 cool. Done. So that's gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching, stick around. I should have some good stuff coming up in 2024 for this Bronco right here. You know what I kind of realized? I wanted to reduce interest in this Bronco and I just stuck a giant red thing on the front. So kind of gives it a Rudolph look, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, I really want to get my hands on a 2024 Bronco. I'm trying, trying to work on that. I want to see what changes Ford made. They obviously added the 12 inch screen. I'm kind of hoping I can put that in here. Uh, there's also the new interior and the audio system. I'm, I'm pretty sure the audio system is going to be the same as it is in 2023, but won't know until I look. So hopefully I'll have some content around that if I can make that happen. Even if that doesn't happen, I need to program the restraint module for the winch. There's off-road lights I want to install. I'm also contemplating installing a red arc system. We'll just kind of have to... I have more ideas than I have time to actually implement them. So we'll just see where it takes us. But that's all for now. If you want to contact me, Bronco Nation, Bronco 64, Bronco subreddit, feel free to reach out or you can leave a comment down below, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But that's it. Enjoy your 2024. Hopefully it's an awesome year. Bye guys. The ultra hook right here. I got ugh. the ultra hook I got because I wasn't I wasn't whoop whoop come back 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 come back